Morning. So I've just nipped down to uh, South Lakes here um, to a sort of rather large plant hire firm to um, get a look at this micro digger between hires. Um, the complaint is that he can't lift the blade up while he's tracking forwards. So um, I've just had a look at it and uh, I'll just show you what I found. So this is the blade lever here. And if you can see that rope in there just at the end of my finger, I've hammered it down now, but that was sitting proud and it was hitting. So, yeah, nice simple fix. I've just hammered it through a bit further and now they're clear of each other. So, um, yeah, I've replaced that rope in. The old one was a little bit loose, so. Probably worked its way up. There we go. Right, there you go. Um, not always big jobs and massive breakdowns and big machines. Even the little ones can have the little uh, teething troubles. So I can't say I've ever come across that one before. Probably just a one-off. Just not had an extra hit with the hammer when it was built in the factory. Um, or it's worked its way out. One of the two, but. Uh, Either way, that's sorted. I'll uh, I'll get back up to Carlisle. So it's worth mentioning that uh, obviously the guy phoned me with that problem, and uh, you know when you're speaking to people on the phone, you're trying to get as much detail as you can, um, so that you know that what you're going to take to the job is going to be worthwhile to. You know something like that. I've never come across that particular fault on that machine before so I couldn't just tell him oh have a look behind that cover there there's a roll pin that if it's stuck out too far it'll catch on the blade lever um, all he could really tell me was that his customer had, had it out on higher and he couldn't lift the blade up while he was tracking forward so um, yeah it could have been it could have easily been the rotary coupling um, which, it, which transfers the oil from the top half spinny bit down to the bottom half where your tracks are and you know something like that could easily be um, you know if there's a seal away in there it could easily pass oil from the blade into your travel or something like that so it could have been something a lot more serious thankfully it was something simple um, and it is always worth you know going and checking these things out. Wednesday morning now and um the weather was very damp and wet and cold when I left Carlisle. It's sort of picked up a bit now where I am and um, hopefully we shouldn't get too wet. I've uh, three machines I want to get to today, try and get them knocked off the list. Um, yesterday turned into a bit of a, bit of a frustrating day yet really. Um, the oil leak, engine oil leak on the digger that I was going to get to in the afternoon um, when I left the motorway I phoned the customer um, just to make sure that the machine was still on site. Um, didn't get through to the customer. I took that chance and nipped up to the site where it was when I visited it a week or so ago and it wasn't there so that kind of knocked an hour and a half the day into sort of wasted time really which is unfortunate um, and you know I took that chance and it didn't pay off so that was a bit frustrating that time of day three o'clock you've no point sort of jumping in the van and loading up and driving an hour and a half up the road to go and get a machine serviced you know take another one off the list so a bit frustrating also I had about 38 39 phone calls yesterday at a 160 broke track link um, working yesterday so obviously that's desperate and um, I got uh, parts organized and the driver is expecting Cas HQ to go up and um, sort that out today for me so that's a really big help um so yeah hopefully today goes to plan and we'll get these three machines knocked off me list of jobs to do tomorrow i'll have a full day putting a rotate kit and a twin pump kit on a 14 tonner just south of edinburgh um so i've the next couple of days sort of pretty pretty fully booked friday as well it's looking busy so plenty to do and um that's without the phone ringing as well so uh, stay with us I'll take you on to this next job and um, I'll show you what we're getting up to
Hi, I'm here. I'm in the woods and uh, actually these trees might be grand if the weather does turn. It's dry at the minute, so it's lurking behind the trees. So it's just going to pull it onto this flat bit over here and I'll get my van sort of pulled up. heading out on this uh, old forestry road here and I'll be about I reckon half an hour 40 minutes to the next one so That's the filters for a thousand hour service on a T25. Um, I'll keep this brief because it's windy and you probably can't even hear my voice, but oh, it's a grand spot to work. It is.
Uh, the rain's held off, so I'm pretty pleased about that. I'll uh, get some engine oil put back in it now. And uh, literally over the hill in the same woods here, there's another digger, different contractor. Um, so we'll go and get that 160 service. So I reckon about half an hour and uh, we'll get set off. Good, five o'clock, that's our 16 tonner finished. I've, uh, well, half hour, 40 minute drive home, so not too bad at all. Really pleased to get those three jobs knocked off my list today. Spoke with the lads that were on with that other job for me and uh, they've got that knocked off pretty quickly as well, so excellent job. Um, yeah, I thought there's no point getting any more footage of me spinning filters. Um, very similar to what I did the uh, week before last there. Uh, so I'll not bore you with more filter spinning. Um, yeah, if you've made it this far, please hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. It all really, really helps. So thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow for the next vid. Cheers.